Are you leaving the podcast? <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this pie okay, is getting I'll divided four ways. <laughs> we <laughs> saying re- regardless, <laughs> regardless, <laughs> like <laughs> my next the king can get that and that. Um, no, I just wanted to say we're what well, we're on our last week of our manscape deal. Um, yeah. we've got listeners that have been listening for close to five years now yeah people have often asked us how they can support the podcast and whatnot at the moment if you want to help the man them out this is probably the best way we've got one more week of our manscape code well potentially more but we'll see um so yeah if you do want to support the best thing you can do right now is to mm-hmm. go on manscape's website and use the code man them 20 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure and yeah, I say big up to everyone that's cop so far. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, True. Yeah. We see, man. It's appreciated. And, um, yeah, thank you very all, much. Thank all pays off. Thank you. Uh, in, in the long run, still. Yeah. Come on, but uh, I guess start the show. Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man and Podcast, episode 197. Mm-hmm. We're back, boys. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Hey, man. yeah, we're back yeah, another yeah. week. Come on, got the big top on today and that. <laughs> big like a zet, you know. Hey, come, on. come on, come big like a mad, it's mad. Um, yeah, There's man, another week. Go on, what we've got what? someone else here still, but he said yeah, you're yeah, yeah. referred to as a guest. Yeah, well, what, what yeah. do we He said it's not special what, Brent, 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 and, and he's not a guest. <laughs> what, 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 what not, we calling you so today? Guest. Not so special guest, Teddy. We'll go with Teddy, man. Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. softened it up. No, I like that, I like that. I like that. Yeah, not, not so special guest. <laughs> T- Teddy's an old school friend. Yeah, he's been on the podcast yeah. before. Uh, he has. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a very long time, mm. been a little while, it's been a little yeah. while. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the most humble uh stars. Loud but low, loud but low, loud but low, loud but low. Famous in a few different circles, but um, yeah, yeah, how, a, 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 on, a, 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 yeah, a, yeah, aka who, aka you know, know me as Ted Fred as well, you know, oh, okay, okay, I'm in, 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 in these fitness streets, yeah, 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 yeah. come Sweet on, club. Ted uh, how's everyone's week been? Yeah, man. Cool. Another week just gone by. I feel like the last week just absolutely flew by. Mm. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why, but this week, yeah, it's just gone, bro. Mm. Um, but it's good. It's good because it's another week closer to um, release you know, normality, in it. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So just, release. <laughs> yeah. Release date, fam. Was that was that announced this Monday or last Monday? Last one. That was last Monday. Last that Monday. Was last this week we okay. had the budget. The big budget. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah that's it. Yeah. I wonder so what's coming. Just... I wonder what's coming next. No, yeah, next, next month. Is next, not not Mondays. I guess schools are open or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. This Monday. Yeah, this Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Monday. Yeah, yeah. 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 A bit yeah, like Kanye's Good things. Friday releases, but the Mondays. Yeah. <laughs> bad, bad Mondays. <laughs> it's just yeah. There's always yeah. something. Yeah, I'm looking but yeah, it's um, been calm, man. Gone quick, and yeah, looking forward to normality. Cold, cold. Who's June twenty first. Mm-hmm. You've been working out and, and lifting and running because I know I have been. I'm on, I'm on. Not me. I'm yeah, no, nah, I am. Um... I'm going to keep it a bean, not me. <laughs> not, not, what, nothing? <laughs> not what, what are you waiting for, Liz? You got the motivation yet? I think that's what it is. I mean, I've done, uh, not caught, but saw me uh, on a walk with yeah. um, Dre the other day. Mm. Um, so mm. I'm, get, I'm getting my walking in. I prefer the walking because the knees are, I'm getting old now. So yeah, getting yeah, shaky. Yeah. Can't really do the high impacting. So walking, I get the walking in. But other than mm. that, press ups, nah. What's the, what's the diet? What's the diet? Saying? Diet's not <laughs> been too bad, you know. If I'm being honest, um, I've tried to keep the calories down, uh, so the portions stay fairly small-ish. But other than that, yeah, that's been alright. It's just yeah, just not just not training. Les is um, going in independence today, so yeah, it I mean, is on a day we recorded. Sh- surely Appreciate you're going to be thank you. tucking into some some, some bank and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see, <laughs> see what's on the menu, 
and then uh-huh. then then we'll definitely get into it. I'm allowed mm. a, a day off of of yeah, decent yeah, eating, yeah. so cheat, we'll get into cheat, it. Cheat, 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 cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, we'll, come we'll on, get into it. Mm-hmm. Rich, were you saying? I know last week you were telling us about your your upper body routine that you've been doing. Very simple, but yeah, yeah. man. I, yes, um, I might have got like another three or four sessions in. It's very simple. Like, uh, I do. Mm. I've got the heaviest weight I got here. I could probably make it a little bit heavier. I might be able to make it like a fifteen. But I'm, I'm running with a 10 kg. I've got one 10 kg dumbbell, basically. I can't even do both at the same time. Mm. I'm going to switch that. Um, mm. I'm doing 12. What do they call that? Unilateral, four. yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan's that, such a PT, like. <laughs> <laughs> Unilateral. So you do one, one at a time, Rich, yeah? Mm. yeah? Yeah, but I'm trying to do... Um, Ted, you'll be able to correct me if I'm wrong. The mm. term is, what's it like? Time under tension. We do it mad slow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, increase yeah. So intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, doing what? Twelve reps, four sets of those. Uh, superset everything uh, straight into the same thing with uh, hammer curls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, followed by thirty press ups. Mm-hmm. Uh, twelve dips. And then I've just recently. My you did. What did. What did the dips on? Yeah. Edge of the bed. On the bed. Edge of the bed, man. Edge of the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edge of the bed. You can't go wrong. Um, and then I got the ab wheel. I've had it for a time. I ain't been using mm. it. I just started doing that. I mm. done, done my first thing of that yesterday, all for four sets. Um, and that's literally it. But my abs are killing and my back is hurting, mm. which is mad. But um, I think it's the whole, you know, yeah. you're rolling it out. But um, that's that's all I'm doing at the moment. And then running every, like, yeah. depends how much I do, but every, like, three to four days. And I run anything from five to, like, 8K at the moment. Mm. Five to eight K. That's mm. my thing. But I feel like it's one thing I want to master. Like Ted, the, Ted doesn't like seem impressed. Right. <laughs> yeah, five to eight K. said, Rich said I do uh, three to four days, five, five to eight K. Ted looked said, right. mm. Mm. Cute. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Could do more. <laughs> what, Ted? What's your regime? <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't really do. I do sprints. I don't really run. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, jogging and that we call that we call that in fitness we call it miss, which is like moderate intensity. It's like steady state cardio. It's mm-hmm. like you're just jogging at like one pace. I don't really do that sort of training. I do either hit or I do lifts. Yeah, but I say hit, but it's more intervals. So I do sprints and I do you know mo- like mostly walking and that. But jogging is not really for. It's not my thing, man. Like the mm-hmm. like, like less of the knees and mm-hmm. it's it's too it's too much. It's you might have built like built like houses, fam. The it's, knees. I'm telling you, fam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, fam, man, man's 100, 100 kilos now, fam. I ain't got no business running out of there. It's too much, man. It's mad. It's mad. It's crazy, crazy. But yeah, but yeah, Rich, you were saying you've got your... your uh, that that routine you were doing, where did you pick that up from? Like, were you just... Um, that's why initially... That's like jail, fam. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's why I asked where you're doing the dips. <laughs> As you're the best. The bunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The bunk. Uh, where did I pick it up? I think I kind of just made it up. I, there was a routine I was following... At, like I say earlier, in maybe end of the first lockdown. Um, what Chloe T? Online. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, whether I think it was uh, like a men's health thing or something. Mm. Um, mm. This was like how to build a bigger chest at home or something. But it had me mm. doing some kind. It had me doing madness, man. It was it, to be Such fair, it was a myth. bit too intense, bro. <laughs> So they yeah, had me funny. doing like um, had them handstand press ups and like I was yeah. like, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my neck here. Um, yeah. so Denmark, I just kind of mix and blend. Funny. Rich, you're not going to build any chest at home, man. I can tell you that for free, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a funny. It's yeah, just it's not going to happen, is it? Fam. You just need more resistance. Yeah, yeah. I was speaking with Ted and he was like, and I've, I've spoken about, yeah, trying to do the, the home workouts and just trying to do a bit. But I guess, yeah, we, we both know I'm a rabbit that I did that, yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's not the same. It's not the same. See, do you know, I'm, I'm for the and maybe I might use this as a little bit of an excuse to not do it, but I just, yeah, I just feel like at home, you're just not getting the same gains for one and the workout's just not as intense as it would be in a gym. So I just don't, I just don't bother. You can just about maintain at home. It's very difficult, you know, because there's just not, you just don't have enough resistance. To you got to do a lot to maintain, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not enough load, isn't it? Some yeah, hypertrophy yeah, it's training. It's not enough load. Yeah, enough, it's you know, it's just, it's just not enough. So the yeah. home workout, about, it's, more um, for the, it's more for the mind, if anything. Mm. Right. That's a shout. That's yeah, a good yeah, shout. Yeah, yeah. What about um the uh what was I say? Uh, like training for reps. Training for reps. Could, could you achieve 
can you achieve some, I guess, like more, because one of the things I realized, there was a time when, when I was isolating because of, because I had COVID or whatever, I was, I was mm. doing like 250 mm. press-ups a day, mm. thinking that's going to get, I'm going to see some change, um, mm. just in terms of definition more than anything. Mm. Is, can you train, I guess you can train for reps at home, correct me if I'm wrong, or is... I mean, it's, it's more volume, isn't it? 200, 250, 250 press-ups, that's more volume, isn't it? So it's not really training mm. for reps, but it's like, you, you're just doing a lot. So, you know, you're mm. burning a certain amount of calories, you know, there's more calories out, you know, more energy out and stuff like that. So, yeah, you probably could achieve a bit more definition in that sense. But it, I wouldn't call that training for reps. It's more like we call that sort of volume training. So you're doing a lot, like a lot of work. You're doing 250, 250 press-ups. Is, mm. That's not a, that's a decent amount, especially if you're doing them mm. slow and controlled, you're doing them properly. That's, mm. a, that's mm. a decent amount of day. You know, you can achieve a, you know, you can achieve some sort of definition from that. But, you know, we wouldn't really call that like training for reps. That's more, it's called, it's called volume training. That is, you know, so it's mm. a little bit different. And training for reps is what is that? Would you say that's to failure then? Um, training for reps? No, I wouldn't say training for reps. Training for reps is more, if you're in a gym, for example, and and in a particular set, you're going at a higher rep range. That's more, that's mm. what they would probably refer to as training for reps. Mm. And people seem to think that training that way means you're going to get cut. And when you when you train with lower reps <laughs> and a heavier load, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. It hey. like a lot of people assume that. Remember when we were younger, man. You know these the old gym, gym yeah. myths. Yeah. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you're 20 nice. in that, I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you do I, I, like four normal sets and you do a drop set for the cut, like. Hey, these are myths. But a lot of that typically is it's it's your it's your diet, how you eat. And mm -hmm. something called called NEAT. It's called um, non-exercise activity thermogenesis (NEAT). That's going to determine a lot of your fat loss. A lot of the times, you know, it's not really you know whether you're doing higher reps or reps. Mm. Hey, tell them, it's tell really them that well. one again, man. Yeah, tell no, us more no. about that as well. I'm, I'm <laughs> NEAT, NEAT, what is it? NEAT, go on. NEAT. It's non-exercise yeah. activity thermogenesis. So, for example, if you have um, if you have you have, let me tell you all the components like that are. You know, to do with fat loss, you have you have um, resting the resting metabolic rate, for example, which is what you burn mm -hmm. like in you just doing nothing. So just yeah, being yeah, doing yeah. a podcast, mm, yeah, so a podcast yeah, yeah. all day, yeah, yeah, yeah. sat down, Laugh, that's, yeah, how much burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how much you would burn. And then you have the term <laughs> Easy. <to> food. <laughs> it's a massive way. <laughs> well, it's freaky. It's, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's an got... activity, you know. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. That counts. So you got TF. So thermic effect of food. So that's how much you burn when you actually eat certain food. So protein is quite high. You, you know, it burns a lot of calories when you eat a lot of protein, which oh. is why it's probably, it's a key mac macronutrient, that one. And mm -hmm. then you have, um, then you have obviously meat as well. And you have the thermic effect of um, exercise, which people don't actually know. You don't burn that much when you exercise. Yeah, I've, I've, you read, actually yeah, don't... I've read that. Yeah, yeah, Like you think, oh, I'm in a gym yeah. for however amount of time mm -hmm. we do a certain amount. Mm -hmm. Like weightlifting in particular, you don't mm -hmm. burn. Yeah, you wouldn't burn, burn as much, calories. even close mm. to yeah. as if you did. Yeah, like steady state cardio or yeah, cardio. Yeah, you don't. But even even steady state cardio, you know, you mentioned that. But even that doesn't burn as much as you think. And in fact, with with steady state cardio, like going out and jogging, for example, every time you do it, you become more and more efficient. Yeah, so every time yeah, you do it, actually, yeah. you mm. tend to you, you're burning less and less. So whatever your watch is telling you that you're burning, you're burning a hell of a lot less than that. She you know? Ted, on, on that point, um, and yeah. just doing it for too long. I've heard contradictory yeah. things to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if, like mm -hmm. you just said, if you continue mm -hmm. to run day after day, you get your mm -hmm. body gets used to it and you Complex burn less. Effective. But I've heard mm -hmm. that's not true. Right. Let me let me break that down. Let me break that down for you. When you're whenever you jog, right, you're going out for a run or anything that you do, right, you're sending a signal and you want your body to adapt to it. So. What happens when you're jogging, you're sending a signal to, you want to become cardiovascularly sort of fitter, but also, mm -hmm. you know, you're asking your body to sort of pare down muscle because muscle is, it's not really advantageous when you're running. You know, it's very, it, it consumes mm -hmm. a lot of oxygen and stuff like that, do you understand? So when you're running, when you're running more and more and more, what happens is you're losing more and more muscle. Mm -hmm. And the smaller you become, the less energy you burn. It's, that's just mm -hmm. a fact, you know? So mm -hmm. that's what happens when you run over a period of time you know, you're starting to burn less and less and less energy. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. that's kind of how that works, you know? Okay. Makes sense. Man, is that, is that why man also switch up their, like, gym routines and that as well, isn't it? Precisely, because you you get to, you know, you you adapt to whatever we do. You see, this this machine that we have, this body, is like a machine. So mm. we adapt very, very quickly to whatever you do, you know, yeah. which is mm -hmm. why you have to do progressive overload. You know, let's say we're talking yeah, about weightlifting. Yeah. You know, you can't be lifting the same 10 kilo dumbbell you know, for 
you know, hey, 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 no shot, no shot, come on, man, he's trying, man, he's trying his best, come on, man, but that's why home workouts, you know, they work for just a few weeks, and then after that, you know, you need to find a way to sort of like, you know, add more, more load, and which is difficult to do, so progressive, progressive, you know, whatever you do, you're always going to adapt to it, do you understand, so you have to always switch it up, you know, and and change it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had to cop my cop a skipping rope, and that mm. hey, skipping is not a joke, you know. It's not. It's hard. Skipping is not, not a joke. joke. It's, it's actually one of the hardest like forms of yeah, yeah, yeah. skipping. Yeah, man will throw right, a couple so... tunes. Go on, go on, Dan. Mm. Oh, no, I was gonna say. So you're gonna tell tell me Ted that um the same routine that I've been doing for 15 years. Is time <laughs> <I did>. <laughs> <laughs> it's got diminishing returns, you know. After uh, a little yeah, while, you know, yeah, you got. I thought more. something weren't right after all these years. Charles, it's all making sense now. You looked about 95 kilos. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, What other gym myths are there that, that we know of? Um, I'm just trying to think of some. Um, um, I know, dumbbells versus bench, yeah? That's a debate. Yeah, that's, want, that's an interesting want, one. I've okay. got plans, yeah? What am, I, what am I supposed to do, man? If I want to look my best when I fly out to uh, Montego Bay, when they open the doors, yeah? What, what is the best exercise for this chest, man? For the chest, I listen per- personally. I prefer dumbbells because you can just, mm. you know, your range of motion. You can move. You can move a bit more freely. Whereas mm. like the bench is very fixed. I can tell you the last time I bench pressed, you know, with the bar. Mm. Um, I mm. I use dumbbells a lot. You know, it's easy on the joints. You can move around a lot more. But you know, with yeah. with the so we, typically with those, you have to go with whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you whatever you see yourself First doing long term. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly mm. because it's mm. it's the same whether it's like nutrition or you know cardio or you know weight whatever, training whatever works for you exactly i always tell my clients whichever one you can see yourself doing for a long time that's yeah. the one you want to do because mm. if you're only going to do it for a month and then you yeah, can't yeah. stand it after that you know it's not really the best one mm. for you if that makes sense so you know if you're a dumbbell man do dumbbells the most important thing is that you you, you have to increase the weight so you can't start on a 30 kilo dumbbell and then stay there you know for you know for a set amount of time you know you have to keep increasing increasing you mm-hmm. know, and it's just, like I said earlier, that's called progressive overload. That's important. So your actual choice of exercise is not, you know, it's not, really not as important okay. as people yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can stick to it and you can progress, which is why perhaps dumbbells and bars are, you know, they're better than perhaps doing cables because cables, you can't really go up that much. You know, most of us know mm-hmm. if you're yes, doing cable yeah, yeah, flies, yeah, yeah. you get to about 17, usually 17, 19 kilos. It's hard to go, you know past yeah, that yeah, but with yeah, the numbers yeah, you can yeah. progress a lot more so mm. you can add a lot more load to your mm. chest so okay. yeah the whole the whole bench thing yeah it's it's not a myth but it's just like it's it's you, what you, it, you know it, like yeah. again back in the day where it's like yeah i go to mm. gym or whatever how much mm. you benching how much you bench mm. bro like <laughs> there's so business, much more to man. it like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro like, I, if you I say i bench like, 100 kg your your hench like yeah, yeah. don't make you wedge bro it don't make sense, man. I had I had I had a plumber here sorting out something in my bathroom about two weeks ago, and he came in, and obviously I got a vest on, so he can see that I'm, a, you know, I'm bad. You, know <laughs> <laughs> you got people, you got people coming around. The least you could do is get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lucky I didn't come in in a vest, but yeah. So he, <laughs> so, so he came in. So obviously, naturally, people. The first thing he's going to talk about is gym. So the first thing he asked was how much you bet. And just like Mike just said, I, I'm just thinking there's so much more to it. Like, mm-hmm. why do we think be- like bench pressing is like you know it's it's, it's, it's like always bar- it's always that man that don't go mm. gym but think they know mm. yeah yeah like, they know, oh, yeah, just, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not so much a gym myth but um, time spent in the gym. Good one. So some mm, man, one. so some man love a quick thirty minutes. Some man say forty five. Some man say hour, hour and a half. Sharif says two, two, three hours. We're in there. It feels yeah, like it's out. yeah. Um, Do you want me to we... take this one, Ted? Uh, <laughs> 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 what I'm, would you, in, I'm just thinking. In your, in I your, your uh, go on, go on, go on. Go in on. your opinion, Ted, what would you say would be like the optimal time? Or what again, is a, is a thing that it's entirely up to you? Well, see, that's 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 a little bit of a tricky question because I think it depends on your output. Because when I was younger, I think maybe even back in the days when we used to train together, Matt, like mm-hmm. I could have a we could have two 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 and a half hour session easily. Yeah. But I realized that 
as I've become more efficient in the gym, mm-hmm. and you know my mm-hmm. output is a lot greater, I I struggle to train more than an hour now. But yep. that's mm-hmm. because I'm just doing more with if with the little time that mm-hmm. I have. You yeah. know, it's yep. it's mm-hmm. I, I know how to contract my muscles. You know, a, a lot better than I did when I was younger. You know, yeah. I know how to I know how to incorporate sort of supersets. You know, and 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 you yep. know play with play with blood flow and stuff like that to your muscles. Mm-hmm. Once you know how to do that, you know you become a lot more efficient in the gym. Yeah. Really, the session doesn't have to be that long. However. The key thing is you have to train with intensity. You have to. So and 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 when when I see someone training for two three hours and that you know that tells me your intensity really is not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you can't yeah, do. What, what you what you been doing? Unless you're on drugs, you know, to train, yeah. to tra- you can't train. <laughs> You can't train for two hours and have a two hours, you know, sort of intense mm. session. It's just not mm. you, you, the, the two. It's just not possible. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So. Really, a, de- a decent weight training session, really, the sweet spot typically is around 45 minutes. That's yeah. the sweet spot. Yeah. Come on. Um, yeah, it's because, yeah. like, even back in the day, you might say, like, so- shoulder day, you done, like, your press or your mm. raises, and it's like, all right, cool, what shall we do now? Then you're thinking for a couple of minutes, what can mm. we do? Now you mm-hmm. just know mm-hmm. many different exercises that you can yeah. just mm-hmm. straight get into, innit? And you get it done a lot quicker when you're on your own as well, because yeah. it's like, you know, when you're with yeah. friends, you know, it's you're chatting. Yeah. Like when I go gym with you, like, for example, the session's a bit longer because, you know, we're, mm-hmm. we're talking. It's like a social thing, you know, but when you're on your own, you can sometimes in a gym, because obviously I work in a gym, so I'm in mm-hmm. there sometimes 20 minutes, I can have a session. I can have a mm-hmm. great, I mean, if I were to, I've never trained you, I train with you guys, but if I were to mm-hmm. train you, mm-hmm. like Dan, you mentioned your chest, for example, I can mm-hmm. give you a 12 minute chest session. Do you, You'd be done yeah, for about eight yeah, days yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get yeah, it. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's I'm gonna hit you up, it, man. Um, once I can the prices. Yeah. Ted, Ted, Ted Shred, you heard that. Ted Shred, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hey, remember got no excuses now. Remember them shoulder presses, Ted. Oh man, I'm listen. Still got injuries. Still, 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 hey, I'm let, I them. think that's what it is, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, my right shoulder, still from them days, man. It is funny. Where's the whole plates and hey, bro, oh, man. One of us would, would be doing shoulders. That one's basically doing biceps. Like, it's, biceps. It's, uh, it's when he's training with Ted, you do see him. He's kind of like, he's got ants in his pants. Some kind of mm, like, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. I just came to catch up with these man. Like, <laughs> it's uh, Ted, it's nah, when, when, I, when, I, when I train, you got to, you know, I, I, I just... Want it in and out thirty mm. minutes, you know, get it yeah, done, and then and then that's, that's what I'm on. Because because I'm used to I'm used to like obviously being in the fitness industry and training with other fitness people. We're used to when it's time to work, we work, and then we do a lot of like low list cardio, low intensity steady mm. state cardio. After mm-hmm. our sessions, we do a lot of walking. That's when we catch up usually. Mm. So a lot of people that I train with usually. We barely, we have headphones. We barely told you this. Because yeah, yeah, we know, yeah, yeah. especially if you've got good gym chemistry with someone, you know, you know, you know what we're we, here. You know, we're here you know to train. To that's it. Exactly. Exactly. Liz. So, you know, like, you know, this is the way that's next. This is our warm up. So, you yeah, kind of just flow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have a friend, Ricky, which he's a PT as well. We train together and you wouldn't believe it. We'll train for an hour and not even say what it's going to But yeah, we, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. we know the way that's next. We know the warm ups. Yeah, we know, yeah. we kind of know what you're going to want. And then when we go and do our list after, for maybe half hour to an hour, that's yeah. when we catch up. How how the kids, yeah, how's this, how's that? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of how we, you know. But we understand that we take gym a bit more seriously than the average yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, Big up Ricky. That man trained. That man trained different. I did a couple. I told. I did a couple sessions with that man. Still. Oh yeah, you came and did a boxing with us. Oh, <laughs> boxing, oh yeah, 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 I see yeah, you lot okay, you before lockdown. You lot got some. Yeah some boxing sessions in yeah. obviously there weren't no invites because they would have been like broken noses and nah. that but uh, you like <laughs> dad, 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 dad i think you had something to say go cool, on cool. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did. all right ted um mm. another myth here yeah, or yeah something that needs solving mm. doing sit-ups crunches yeah do yeah. they help abs because i've heard yes i've heard some man say no you don't some man with abs that i've seen they said they don't mm. do yeah. Any abdominal work, other man hey, in the kitchen and all of that, lifting mm. the leg up to the bar and leg raises yeah. and all of that carry on. So what's the well, the the, the, the thing with the abs is that obviously your you know your body fat levels have to be quite low. You know, mm-hmm. typically some people show like I can I can have abs. My abs can show up quite high. You know, now right now I'm probably sitting at around 90 percent, which is it's quite high for me. But my abs are still showing. Whereas some people they've got to get down to like near ten percent for their abs to show. So yeah, if you if you if you're you know, if you've got too much fat around your abdominals, it's not really going to show for a lot mm-hmm. of people. So you've got to actually lose that fat first. And then you have to understand the abdominals, they're like any other muscles. You know, you've got to train them with resistance, you know, and a lot of weight. You've got to add some load to it, you know. So 
you can't get on the floor and just do body weight, you know, um, sort of crunches and and, mm-hmm. and and think that you're going to get those mad, you know, Instagram sort of abs. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, what you've got to do, you know, is is you've got to add some weight to it as well. You know, you've, 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 let's say you're doing leg raises, for example, or reverse crunches, we call them. You know, you, you've got to get a dumbbell, you know, between your, between your feet after a little while, you know, you can't mm-hmm. just do body weight on the floor, you know, and it's, again, that's not going to work for too long. Yeah. So it's the same thing with abs. So those are the two things you want to, you want to make sure that your body fat levels get quite, you know, quite low near the 10% range. You know, I guess it depends on some people, but most people I've seen, you know, when you get around the 10 to 12-ish, your abs can start to show and you want to mm. train it with resistance as well. Mm. Oh, hey, what about, you know, when people say you can't like build muscle, mm. but lose fat at the same time as well. So you mm-hmm. have to do like one or the other. Mm-hmm. Um, you can, you can, if you're a newbie or if you haven't trained for a long time. So let's say since the first lockdown last March, if you, ha- if you haven't trained since then and you get in a gym today, for example, and you start lifting, both, it's going to happen for perhaps mm. the first four to six weeks. It's going to happen. Mm. You're going to, you're going to build muscle. You're going to lose a little bit of fat as well. But typically if you have any sort of, if you've been training for a few months and it's very, very difficult to do. Mm. Typically you want, you want to choose one. You want mm. to have a phase where you're either, you're either building or you want to have a phase where you're losing. And the thing is the two are, it's literally like night and day. When you want to, when you want to lose, when you want to lose weight, you know, it's, we're talking calorie deficits. We're talking mm. a lot of sacrifices. We're talking a lot of walking, a lot of cardio, mm. you know, a lot of, a lot of supersets. You know, you have to, you have to give a lot of effort in that sense. And your calories have to be pretty low. You know, mm. when you want to put on weight and build muscle to build new tissue, it takes a lot of calories. And people have mm. to eat, you know, much more food than mm. they actually realize. Mm. And and during that process, sometimes you can get a little, you can you can add a little bit of water retention. You can get a little bit fat. And what happens is, you know, people tend to sort of be put off when they put on a little bit of, you know, one or two kilos. Mm-hmm. They look in the mirror and then, you know, they, they, they you know, they look a little bit fluffy. And yeah. they're like, you know, let me drop it again. So in the end, you're doing nothing really. It's part you're, of the process you know, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You, you're mm-hmm. spending a month, you know, building muscle and then, you know, you're losing fat again. And then, you're, you know, you're pulling in both directions and nothing's really happening in the end. If that makes mm-hmm. sense? So yeah. Yeah. that's why, that's why people... Like bodybuilders, you have to commit to it. They commit the entire the entire winter, you know, four, five, six months to building tissue. In fact, some of them an entire year. They said this yeah, year, twenty twenty one, I'm just gonna build. I don't care how fat I get because I can get rid of that later. You know, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. You, you, it's to answer your question, it's quite hard to do both unless yeah. you're, you know, yeah, you're, yeah. you're you're a newbie. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people struggle with that. Mm-hmm. Your average person, anyway. Average person, so just yeah, got to pick yeah. one and just go with it. You know, but let's let's. Let's be honest, you know, most of us, you know, our fight is, our fight is, you know, sort of fat loss. It's not really muscle, muscle mm, gain. Right, so right. As we get older, exactly. As we get older, mm. you know, we tend to put on more and more. And then genetics obviously kick in as well, you know, like, like I was saying to one of, I think it was Rich or Dan I was speaking to, you know, talking about genetic sort of set points. We all have set points. And, you know, when someone goes with the period of time, let's say there's a lockdown. And you go four, five, six months without training, you're gonna see what your genetic set point is. Unless you, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Unless you're so this is a like over... a predisposed blueprint. Is it a real, real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing, man. Yeah. It's absolutely real. It's like unless you're obviously overindulging in food and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But mm. a lot of the times when you take away activity, you have some people, you know, they they they, they don't really change, and you have some that lose muscle really, really quickly, and then you mm. have some that gain fat, at, you know, at a ridiculous rate. So, and you're really going to see the ones who have been sort of fighting their genetics for years. Uh-huh, you know, uh-huh, they're uh-huh. the ones who they balloon up quite quickly. You know, so, <laughs> man, I always thought it because was an they, excuse. Some of my no, no, no. no they, 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 like, you might just got good genetics. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they, they, no, because because they're setting points and they're settling points. Settling points is like you know, let's say you. Let's say, Dan, you've been playing football, you know, you, let's say you start playing football again today, like, like quite mm. seriously. You're going to find yourself mm. probably dropping a bit of weight. You're doing that for a few years. That's just your settling point. You start playing football, it's going to go up quite quickly. Do you understand? Yeah. And it, your body's going to somehow take you to a setting point again. So the settling point is what, you, what you're doing right now to mm. be at that weight. I mean, your setting point is where your body's comfortable being, and that's yeah. you know determined by genetics. You get it? And that's mm-hmm. that's where we are probably mm-hmm. like in our thirties and forties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. And then those are the you know that's why you have some people you know they they also struggle to lose weight because of that. You have some people that struggle they struggle to put on weight because you know there's they, we all have set points where our bodies are very comfortable being. In. So that's kind of mm-hmm. how it works. So you could just blame your ancestors for that. <laughs> <laughs> <Speak>. <laughs> it's a damn 
shame, fam. Yeah, it's fine. That should be so, so <laughs> mad. Unless you're going to say something. Do you know what? I've been thinking, and I literally forgot what I was going to say. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But yes, it's fun. Mad. So it looked like it was, uh, yeah, when Ted said Janet. It was, it was something <laughs> around that I literally cannot remember. My memory is bad these days. Um, uh, Ted Carves. Uh -huh. Cards. Cards. You got a long yeah. lesson. Yeah, because yeah, obviously, like, you'd have to pay for this in a novel. Yeah, world. Trust. So, man, it's okay. You could have just, um, just called me, bro. <laughs> nah, there's a fee for that. Consultancy. Uh, yeah, the, 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 um, the calf game is, is right. mad still. I heard calves, like, yeah. is, are heavily yeah. affected by genetics. It's it's a very stubborn muscle. It's probably the, it's the most stubborn muscle. Mm. However, we also don't train with training with the same enthusiasm as we do with chess, for example. Mm. You know, it's all, all bicep and stuff like that. So let's like let's get one thing clear. If we train if you train it with the same intensity, it would grow. But like calves is it's an extremely, extremely stubborn muscle. And it's it's also a lot of black people as well, you notice we've got very high insertion of like, you know, uh, our calves. So it's quite high up, you know, when and, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and it, it can give it can it can give that appearance that you know your calf's actually smaller than what it is. It's just yes. a high, high insertion. That's what it is. Whereas that maybe white people a little bit different, aren't they? They have much lower insertions of the, you know of, of of their calves, so mm -hmm. it can appear a lot bigger than it actually is. So that's that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, because I I see some mm -hmm. white guys with some of the maddest Mad calves. calves. Yeah, maddest I calves. think you never <laughs> lifted in your life. Never. Yeah, 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 yeah. Funny enough, Les, you got those aesthetics as well. You know, you slightly have you slightly have white people calves as well. It's quite, it's quite your insertion quite low. Yeah. Whereas maybe. I was talking about myself, really. <laughs> I'm looking like Shakiri in that. It's mad. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was me and Rick, you know, you see our cars are built a little bit different, you know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But when you got high insertions, you can sprint a lot quicker. So, you know. <laughs> what do you say? Rich is sniffing. Built for freak. speed, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly, built for speed. So we can we typically run a little bit quicker. Like sprinters' cars, that's, that's, that's what that is. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, boys, any more any more questions for the uh, consultant or? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm a, I'm afraid that the, the next one might be charged. So <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna send you money anyway. Still, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm 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 good for questions. Mm. What do we have on the agenda? Um, Where do you want to go first? Maybe the solar energy, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so this was, I think it was an Instagram live on Taser Black's Instagram page. Mm. And he was joined mm. by a lady, I don't assume her pronouns, uh, female, I believe. Um, who I feel like I've seen her face before, but I don't know where Yeah, from. she looked familiar still. Um, but the conversation ensued and... There was the mention of what's it solar energy um but i think the crux of her point was along the lines of what is it a man can't find his purpose um whilst chasing women mm. mm -hmm. uh, essentially yeah. or having a woman or something like that yeah yeah to find <clears> the true <throat> purpose you need to be kind of alone um you have to you know, abstain i think she said here for a bit yeah, yeah. yeah along the land what, what are you lots thoughts on it i think i've heard it mentioned like for I've, I've heard ancient I've heard it, I've heard it a few times. yeah not as passionately as she delivered it, but um, yeah. you have heard like it's just like a people say it's another like distraction in it mm. mm -hmm. to distract you from where you're trying to get to or whatever. But um, like all things in it, you could pick something up and drop something else or or whatever. I so think I, I'm yeah, I'm not sold in it personally. Mm. I think there's something to it. Mm. I think there, there's potentially something to it. Um, You've, I, I don't know, we've been, it's something we've heard a long time when, um, I guess, among athletes and um, boxers or ca combat sports athletes saying that on the build up to fight week or whatever, or in their six, 12 week training program, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a no, it's a no nutting, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so sorry, I'm gonna no, go, on, go, on, go, on, go, on, go, on. um. So I don't know. Perhaps you can you can give us more light on this, Ted. Perhaps there is some some actual uh, physiological change in the body or some shit like I that. I was, I, say, I was about to say that sounds to me like it's more to do with physiology. I don't think she should be talking about that. Hmm. That sounded like that's <laughs> looking at that small clip. That sounded like she was talking about something else. But what is what is a, like 
when people talk about like their purpose and stuff like that, yeah, has anyone here found what their purpose is? No, no. Nah. Oh, that's a deep you, question. How do you know? Um, have you know spoken? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How yeah. Do you, have you spoken to anyone that knows what their purpose is? You know, it's it's. Uh, I've no. always got. Uh, I've never I been sure about that one. You know, I don't, I don't think, think your. Pur- I think your purpose is a choice, mm. as opposed to like. Yeah. I just feel I'm built to do this or I'm meant to mm, do this. Yeah, 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 it can yeah. be a combination of things. If you've got, I don't know, Anthony Joshua's body, perhaps boxing might be your purpose a little bit more than mm. if you haven't, mm-hmm. right? But it's mm-hmm. a, it's definitely a choice. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a choice. Um, I don't know if I've if I've met anybody who says like this is my purpose. Nah, this is I'm not purpose. really in them circles, man. Yeah, you yeah, see, nah, so it's it's, so. it's 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 a tricky one, you know. But then, yeah, if it is it's a tricky. choice, then. I don't like, yeah, if you if you choose that X is your purpose and say my purpose isn't combat sports, it's computer coding, mm. why can't mm. I have a woman to like mm-hmm. cuddle? Mm. I, I don't know, tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is after them long nights of coding. I'm going by like time thing. I'm going I'm judging it by like time, attention, all of that stuff which is taking you away from your so-called goal or yeah. I, I, I kind of hear that though. I kind of hear that. Um, I think it's well, actually, no, no, Rich. I, I said I, I said I definitely hear that, innit? Rich, I, I said I definitely so hear that. But I'll go back. But go back to what I said initially. You you can always pick something up and drop something something else. So if someone is demanding a lot of time and attention from you, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. might have to drop something else out. I don't know whether that I is. I think whatever it might. And be, I don't think this is what she whatever. said. This is my my yeah. interpretation of it. Mm-hmm. Is that and it goes back to I think Les, you you mentioned probably over a year ago some book you said you read about having one thing. Oh yeah, um, by Gary Cam- tell me if you yeah, remember yeah. what it is. What's yeah. it called? What's, it, what's the title of that book? The one thing, yeah. Oh, the one thing. Yeah. yeah. I think there's something to that, and she might mm. be getting at that because um, she she alludes to like if you find your kind of woman and you like decide to make her a wife or you just say that me and you are together kind of thing, mm-hmm. then you don't you have significantly less distractions. I think in most man's up until at least a certain point in life, a lot mm. of men just want to chase tell. Mm. Yeah. So you can't, so, so and, and your sex drive, um, I don't know another word for it, uh, can distract, it's very distracting. Yeah, but it's, Rich, uh, was, was it getting on that level? Hmm? Was it exclusive? Yes, yeah, it was exclusive. It was exclusive. Her point it was, was men, yeah. no. It's, I don't think it is. Her, well, point, her well, point was well, exclusive well, to men. Her point? Yeah, like, because I don't really get Yeah, that. I think why her point was probably to... exclusive to men. But why is it exclusive to men? Like, what What? what was it? What, like, I don't really yeah, get Do that. women not have purpose? <laughs> <laughs> like, do women... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> is or, or maybe guys are just more, like, easygoing or something. Nah. Like, they just don't, it, do, don't demand as much. Is, are we not a bigger distraction to women, like, <laughs> than they are to us, like? No? It's, it's how so? How so? Probably equal. I don't think it's equal. But you know what? I mean, they're a distraction to us than, than we are to them. But you man know, to chase go... girl, innit? Girl don't really chase man. Like, we're the pursuers, we're the hunters. It's, it's got to be a certain type of girl, though, innit? Because mm-hmm. there's always that saying behind every successful man, there's a woman. Mm-hmm. What? Um, um... And <laughs> yeah, behind yeah, as we're word to FJ. Word to <laughs> Dan, yeah. Dan is not anti. <laughs> behind yeah, behind every unsuccessful man, what what is it? Like? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bad yeah, woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you, oh, you gotta have a, someone there that's gonna support your dreams <laughs> yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. or and help you along the way. Mm. So, it's I guess it's a particular type of a woman or or, or person. Yeah, mm. I think she's, I think it's waffle man. Yeah. To be fair, I think she I think she she was looking at it from a point of view as like men are the hunter gatherers. They go out and provide for the family, mm. like alpha male. Like mm. we're at the top. We do this. We do that. Mm. But then men can lose sight of wanting to get to that because mm. they're involved with a woman that I don't know brings them drama or. All the, all of the mm. all the negative mm-hmm. things that will distract a man to get mm-hmm. into that point. I think that's. It seems like she operates on that level, so and mm-hmm. I think that's what she might be trying to get at is that there's, there are certain relationships um, that are toxic enough that will distract an individual. And I, for me, I think it works both ways. There are men mm-hmm. that 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mess up a goal, goal yeah, in a particular yeah, yeah. way. Right, that was my point. I just think, you know? f- f- I don't know the whole conversation. Mm. I just know that bit. Mm. Um, she was definitely, t- she obviously clearly speaking about men. Um, her mm. point was aimed at men, but it definitely can work. It can, 100% can work in both ways. Yeah. yeah she's yeah, talking yeah. about that more traditional, yeah, as Les is saying. Yeah. Hunt and gather our provider mm. stuff. But then yeah, when I look yeah. at like examples of successful business people, they've got mm. like women by them. If you're mm. looking at the, the the software computer nerds, yeah. like they've had their women by them. So yeah, like, I just, yeah. I just, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Dan's um, not here for it at all. Nah, and, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I'm trying to like, think. And I, and they're I logging off, like burning their sage, like <laughs> yeah, worshiping, yeah, like yeah. rocks Stones and shit. And stuff yeah, like, uh, yeah, and I also I'm think like, she chose the most extreme example of that. And it's a little bit obvious that mm. if, I don't know, say you want to save to buy a property, but you've got mm. a girl or you're involved with someone that's, oh, I want to go out to this restaurant. Oh, buy me this for my birthday. Buy me that. That's going to take you longer to reach your goal mm. or you're just getting distracted from where where it is that you actually want to be. So for me, that's the extreme. Mm-hmm. But like Dan said, like there are loads of successful men that have good women behind them and they still managed to get to where they wanted to get to. So mm. it, came, it came across as she, she was saying... I did this... Well, so when I when I watched it, get, I, get rid of your girl, like right, <laughs> Ted. Exactly. She. I watched it thinking, man, I'm gonna take this as be single forever. Yeah, and, and, I, nah, and this is why I said, yeah, it's got to be a particular type of woman, um, because they've either got to get behind the dream, support you, make sacrifices themselves, yeah, or demand a lot of time. Uh, yeah. Attention and say no, nah, forget doing that. Let's go and do this. Or like like a man said, yeah, that get it's... rid of yeah, get rid of her. Yeah, like and a man what said. Is my pur- what Sorry, if my purpose on. is to have the yeah, go on. What, what, what if my purpose is to have kids, like and just like <laughs> and, and raise a big family and that? It's not gonna happen mm. with a woman, is it? <laughs> yeah, how like, do you figure yeah, out your purpose? Exactly. That's that's like, the first thing I said. What is? How do you figure out what is? What she is, needs to do another lab and just confirm that. Um, yeah. yeah. And I also think, how, <laughs> how much time, yeah? Man must be, like, getting ham. Like, for something to distract it from your career path or, mm-hmm. like, your journey, mm-hmm. like, what is this? Is this sliding in DMs? Like, what? how long does that take? <laughs> mm. yeah, that's, I like that. Yeah, that's why I think she was talking about the worst of the worst females out there. So the ones that, yeah, were literally, I don't know, like Mike said, demanding too much of your time or... Mm. Uh, not expensive, but uh, requires a lot of time, attention, money. I need this. I want that. I want to mm-hmm. go on this holiday. I want you to get me this, all of that. Um, mm. Depending on what your purpose yeah. is, it, I think that stuff can distract you from from where you want to go. Mm. Oh, well, she's talk, talking from like an energy sort of standpoint. Like, you know, they, she, mentioned, they, they... she mentioned draining solar energy. And okay. was, from that point, I was, I, I maybe, I am not initiated. I didn't know what was going on. Dan's yeah. such a scientist, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure you about the solar energy. Yeah, solar energy. I, I, what does that mean? Yeah, she lost me with that. That's um, mm. nah, man. That 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 don't stand up, man. They yeah, don't she, hold water. She was getting rinsed in the comments. You, have you not watched this show on Netflix it's called um, Surviving Death? No, what's no. it about? No. It's, it's actually interesting, you know. It's about uh, people that have had like near death uh, experiences, mm. Mm. and 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 you know what they just describe what's, what happens, you know, when you die for however long you know you're dead for and stuff like that. And you'd be surprised that like, there's millions of people with the exact same story, you know. And, see the light, and, and, yeah, yeah, like it's, it's actually fascinating. And, and then the second episode, they're talking to mediums and that like, you don't know what mediums are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like mm. people who speak to dead and all of that. It's, mm. it's it's actually very, very interesting, and it's, it's a proper informative documentary. You lot should look look I it up. I saw the trailer pop up. Um, mm-hmm. I, I can't remember what uh, mm. platform it was on, but I saw the trailer, and yeah, it's just about yeah the shared experience of people crossing over. And mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Have you man ever had any near death experiences? Nah. Um, no. No. I was in that beef once, and I was on this coach. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, know, you lot know the story, <laughs> innit? You lot know. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's close. I actually don't think. Yeah, I've had no, um, right. I don't think I have. Nah, nothing where I've been in like fucking passed out and shit like that. Anyway. Like, yeah, nothing yeah. like. I might have thought I was gonna die a couple of times actually, but it wasn't like. I it was, was injured. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just like, oh, in, in danger. Just high, yeah, yeah, yeah. In danger. 
Yeah, yeah well, there was no, there was no real threat. Yeah, so mm, no, no, I, I ain't come close to that. Fortunately enough, yeah, we we. Uh... Do you not believe in like mediums and shit like that as well? Go, Dan, I'll let you go first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dan I have seen. Still not prepare yeah. for it. I've seen some some things that mm. uh, I think it would have been on last week's Google Box or something, and there's a show about it. And a woman turns up to the house, and some member of the families that passed away, whatever, um, but they want to like get in touch with them. So she's sitting on the sofa. It's like an older man or whatever, mm. and like uh, they're like, okay, cool. They're gonna start the process. Yeah, there they are. They were sitting there, and she's like. Hello, hello. I'll be honest. <laughs> From that point, you lost me. You lost me. <laughs> hey. The thing is, there's shows where that has killed me. Example, there's mediums where they don't really do the, the whole acting and funny voice and that. But what they do is they just tell you, you know, you come into the room. Mm-hmm. You don't know anything. They don't know anything about you. Hey, they can tell you. Yeah. But like, they can tell you, like they can tell you, okay, do you do, they can tell you that's name, they can tell you, you know, mm. that he's here right now and he wants to communicate communicate that like, communicate certain things. Mm. So the spirit will be giving certain words and you you know, and then like the medium's job is sort of like you're like a you know, you have to kind of um find they have to find a way to break that down and mm. and and they find a way to break it down and let the person know. You know, this is what, you know, let's say you're, you're, if your dad's past, for example, this is mm-hmm. what he's trying to tell you. And mm. some of this information, like, there's no way these mediums should know yeah. that. So, yeah, my, yeah. so my question to you lot is, yeah, what will make you believe? If you went to a medium, for example, let's say mm-hmm. you, know, you had a relative that's passed away, for example, and mm-hmm. you went to a medium yeah, yeah, yeah. and the medium can tell you, you know, certain mad things, would you then believe or... I, I, I'm, I'm torn on it, Ted, man, because I've heard the exact same stuff as what you said. A man just walked into mm-hmm. the room and they mm-hmm. said, boom. They've said some mm-hmm. mad information. Like, how would they ever know? So it's like, mm-hmm. are you walking into this room? They don't know your name previously. Um, like that. The, the they, one, the you ones would have was, it. That's what I mean. Like <laughs> the one that they, they showed address, on. A, they would have done a mad check on you before. Like if you <laughs> if you booked it, yeah. If you booked it under your name, mm-hmm. and I just rolled with you, and yeah. then someone's telling me some mad shit, I'm like, yeah, this is this is a bit. But yeah, even even. I think even off the back of you booking, because I guess booking details, what name, address, uh, email address, people put number. fake ones. They put fake ones in anyway. And that, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that. Um, mm. There's only so much information you can get from it. Yeah. You can get in the in the age of the internet. There's more now more than ever. It would be easiest to be a fake media, man. Mm-hmm. But you can, about, you can find this, mad information. Go on. Mm. How, how about this? Like on this on this show, yeah. There's a guy. Because this, this is actually mad. He said that, like, obviously, his 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 dad had had sort of transitioned, and he's he he was having a conversation with his, you know, with his dad, you know, and he said that he said, no, he's talking to himself, but as if mm-hmm. his dad was there, and he was basically mm-hmm. saying, okay, if he was a little bit skeptical about the whole thing, and he said, okay, dad, if this is real, if you're really here, and mediums are real, you know, let this woman mention anything about my hair, and then he went there, and she was telling him a whole bunch of stuff. You know, and at the very end, they were about to finish. She said, hold on, hold on. He's got one more thing he wants me to tell you. Something to do with your hair. Fam, this guy just, he just broke down. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, stuff like that is it's mad. mad like, like, if it's something mm, that I haven't mentioned to someone. To anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, just the me and the person that's passed away. Yeah. Right, then I'd be more inclined to believe it. But yeah, the, I'm sorry, but yeah, the stuff that we see uh, of mediums and whatnot, mm. Um, mm. it's almost like... Uh, trivialized and it's like a mm, comedy mm-hmm. kind of thing um mm-hmm. like especially those old ones in the 90s where they'd be like okay i think it's named paul anchor or something along those lines is his name mm. it's like a scouse one and he'll go into the room and he'll be like so does anyone have a dad He'll be like, I'm getting A to M, A to M. Mm. So then, after the room, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, stuff like that, where I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, in, yeah, I'm in a room of two, in a room of two hundred people. But he'll be like, does anyone's name here begin with J? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my it's god, it's me! Chip, yeah, it's me. Slowly chip away. Would yeah, you I, go to one though? Would you go to a medium? I, I, I thought about it, but I, I wouldn't. People say you should just never go, innit? I wouldn't. But I don't, if, I don't if someone, would. if someone gifted it to you, like it, you didn't have to pay anything because they expect hundred percent go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone gifted, I wouldn't it, I'd go. I wouldn't go. See, that's that's the athlete you left. You're thinking about Juju in that. 
it's not even <laughs> it's not even that my thing is like i don't i wouldn't know how i would behave after mm. hearing that information that's what i'm mm. saying so if it's obviously someone that's uh passed away mm. i have all the memories and thoughts and whatever it is that reminds me of them with me mm. now and that's the memory that i have but when you now tap into that with uh in the state that when they're no longer here mm-hmm. i think that's a bit that's a bit because then how do you go home it can and still be believe still. and still believe that they're not here they're not here like, why, why they, I, don't, I don't see why i don't see why it's dangerous mark you said it's dangerous i don't see because nah, then you're just like you might constantly be trying to get in contact with that person because and... yeah because i think you've at, so, at some point, slippery slope man yeah at some point you mm. would have made peace with that person passing away so you've understood mm. that they're they're no longer here mm-hmm. and that's fine but then you now get in contact with this medium and then now you're speaking and that person's giving information that only you and that person know it's mm-hmm. almost like oh they're not really gone mm-hmm I feel like it would do mm. the opposite of like man say danger. I think it would give me. I don't know where man stand on their beliefs in mm. the afterlife or whatever. <clears throat> but I think it would give me. It would make me feel better about whatever the situation was. I'd be like, oh, so yeah, this really, this really isn't the end. And mm. like, I think it would give me, maybe. It would give me a yeah. completely yeah, different yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe less. Some people are looking for um, sort of closure. Because some people, perhaps a relative that's passed that you didn't really get along that yeah. well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And of you know, course, and, yeah. you know, so there's there's different reasons. But yeah. I, no, I definitely, I, I definitely agree. That. I definitely agree with mm. that. But e- even stuff like that, then you you don't know where that can lead to in it, or where you're gonna stop. Mm. Like, yeah, are you going to be happy enough with what you've heard? Oh, you, you can, yeah. yeah, and a lot of them, a lot of them become obsessive with it, man. That's actually exactly, true. That, that's do. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chasing, I, chasing listen, I, I, I just want to know, man. I just want to know. Listen, uh, like, are, are you watching me like all the time? Like, yeah, 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 Oh, yeah, it's mad. It's mad. It's mad. But yeah, no, it's, it's a funny topic that one. You know, mm. with, with... yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's it's a weird one with uh, with mediums. I always mm. say the weird thing, the thing that weirds me out about death is you never, you won't get to hear that person say anything new. Mm-hmm. I think visually, you you'll always see someone because you have pictures and appearances won't change that much, but mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. like you won't get to hear them speak anything new mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. that's the that's the thing that that gets me about about death yeah yeah but watch the show you know it's quite interesting man yeah I'll def- yeah, def- yeah definitely uh, miss me again what it's called in it after so yeah, it's, early yeah, yeah, surviving yeah. death mm-hmm. surviving death yeah okay Good show. yeah i might have to get i might have to get that in God, yeah but yeah manda protect your your solar energies because <laughs> <laughs> well, there's yeah. some treacherous women out there Mm. Find find your purpose, man, and leave these women alone. <laughs> mm. Be single, kings. Mm. <laughs> Talking about kings and um, I like it. I like it. I da- like dangerous it, like women. It. Um, big story. <laughs> that's been. I feel like it's been dominating the news mm. for the past. I don't know, week to ten days, um, mm. and probably will for at least another week to ten days going mm-hmm. forward. Um, I'm talking about, hey, I always fuck up their names, man. I say like Megan and Harry and mix mm. it all together. But yeah, Harry and Megan's Oprah Winfrey interview. We're recording on a, on Saturday, what, the 6th. Mm-hmm. It's due to release Sunday America, America time. So Monday, our time. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's supposed to be, I think it's two to three hours. I would say uninterrupted, but it's American TV. There's going to be ads all through that shit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They just have a sit-down chat with Oprah and talk. I don't even know exactly what they're going to say, but we know they're going to talk about the royal family um, and their experiences. And I don't know, man. I've been watching this story. I mean, I've, I'm not that like a royalist or, or anything. Um, mm. But whenever since the whole... We've spoken about it in the podcast. Since Megan's uh-huh. been in the family, yeah. I've been a bit more interested. Um, and, I mean, I work at a news station. I'm seeing a lot of people get their ants in their pants about her and just this whole thing. Mm. It's um, it's gonna definitely be interesting. What are anyone's? I mean, does is anybody even following? Does anybody else care besides me? I don't Bro, know. so I was talking to a few men online about it yesterday. I've not been following mm. it at all the past week, so I don't really know what's been going on. Mm. But I know there's the interview coming out, which I will be locked into. But what's what's been the whole drama the, the past week? 
there's been a little bit of drama around whether or not it should go ahead uh, mm. due to Prince Philip being unwell. Unwell, um, yeah. So it's a hospital, isn't it? At the moment, people were saying <laughs> that, got to do that it, <laughs> Harry should uh, show some sympathy or a little bit of heart and maybe postpone it. But these things mm-hmm. are like all set in stone, and advertisers would have paid to be running on the ad first ad break. Mm. So I doubt mm. that is something that you will push back um, until your grandfather gets well, and he's, he's probably not going to get much better, is mm. uh, at, at his age. Um, mm. So that's there's a little bit of that. Mm. Um, as with everything they do, like people just aren't happy. Um, I think Megan's got a, a, a bad attitude, um, mm. and that just comes from being a black woman. Um, they can't hack it, um, and they, they say she's not like um, was it Princess K, mm. um, who's just yeah bland. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, there's always going to be that <laughs> drama around it, um, mm. but. I'm kind of not really into it. Oprah's mm. wound me up uh, in the most, I say, in, in a few, last few years. Um, Oprah's made some some weird choices, decisions. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just more of the, the circus that yeah. claim to be getting away from. And then mm-hmm. you do this interview, which is yeah. kind of still part in, of the circus. Yeah, mm. yeah. See, like, Dan, would that, that, just exactly what you've heard is what, most people in the media seem to be saying they're like, "Oh, well, you said you want privacy, but then you're going you're going to do this um, interview or like you're releasing things on your Instagram." Mm-hmm. And I don't really get that that point of view because my thing is like, if I want to be private, privacy is, is isn't just hiding everything; it's just no, choosing. It's your choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. So I don't I don't really get that angle, and I feel like it all just comes from. Hated Megan really, and 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 yeah. disliking Harry somewhat. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's going against the grain, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it's it's, um, it just people don't like it. I was chatting to one guy at work yesterday, and he's like, "It's not going to end well." He's like, mm. "Like," and he was best serious about it. He's like, it's not <laughs> going to end well, man. And I was like, "Bro, like, what do you know? What, like, what is he? Yeah, what does he know yeah, that we yeah, don't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take <laughs> his I, name. I go, oh, I go, I go, what do you mean? Like, I go, what do you mean? What do you mean? He goes, um. What well, you have to remember, yeah? It's like, a white man. Don't forget. It's, yeah, it's a white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He goes, what you have to remember is, yeah? And he's he's like, he's very liberal. He's very open and whatnot. Mm. But um, he goes, what you have to remember is the royal family, they used to chop heads off for this, like, on a regular basis. Like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, that's a bit mad. But I was like, it's 100% true. It's mm. 100% true. Ah, hey, that's like, ages that, ago. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> no, 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 that's no, like no, saying, no, oh, yeah, we used to nah. fucking, like, yeah, that's invalid. What about, it, what about the Diana Diana the the invalid. Invalid. Look at look at that, um, Princess Diana, Diana, yeah, that's not that long ago. <laughs> around the neck, she didn't chop, didn't chop there's no head proof off, there, like, yeah, that, yeah, that's 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 all speculation, speculation, and it's totally different, but yeah, and then that's one example from, and that's one example from, yeah, since they were chopping heads up. Yeah, I don't. I don't mm. know if it's. I don't know if it's. Yeah, it's, it's that 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 don't hold no weight for me. It does. It it does to me. Um, oh, I was gonna say something. Shit. Oh yeah. Also, um, juxtapose like how much media coverage this is getting, and about Megan bullying and all of this. I think it's clear to see that there's an agenda coming from. Can you oh, hear me? Hey, 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 hey. um, there's an agenda, but and then if you're looking at the royal family, can you not remember? Don't know how long ago it was now. Um, everything around Prince Andrew, but you're not hearing nothing about a man being a paedophile mm. yeah, versus yeah, yeah. a woman being a bully. Minim- yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Minimal yeah. coverage, like right? minimal yeah. coverage. It's misplaced it's energy. Um, it's just a whole mess. It's a big mess, to man. Bro. Misplaced mm. uh, criticism when mm-hmm. yeah, people need to address yeah, what's really happening. Um, man said he was mm-hmm. in Pizza Express. Yada yada yada, and he doesn't sweat due to what is it? too much adrenaline after serving in the water, like, what? stuff like that. And people are, like, are happy to lap that up. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. When you compare it to what Megan's done, which is nothing. nothing. Um, let's, let's clear out rule issues. Yeah, 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 let's, yeah. Let's, let's really get down to, to what, mm-hmm. what matters. But, um, yeah, I just feel that this is just going to cause, I don't know, just more and more criticism mm-hmm. of them. But, yeah, they're, they're probably... So, like, what, is it like a live yeah. interview? No, it's not live. It's, it's, it's happened. It's happened. It's happened already. It's happened, yeah. It's in the car. 
yeah. the stash. Yeah, um, yeah, because yeah. he did a Prince Harry did something with James Corden, probably like yeah. just to start it off. He did like a I watched like, that yesterday actually. Open, yesterday. open top mm-hmm. bus tour around mm-hmm. like LA, mm-hmm. and yeah, he, he w- seems like a Corden. Um, yeah, he. He don't fuck. He he doesn't fuck with that whole like no. monarchy and all that. He, he, he's, he's done with it. He's not done with that. He's truly done with it, man. He, mm-hmm. he watched that interview. He, he, he's yeah, done. Yeah, I might I might have done. to get that in as well. Yeah, like and that's zero. cool. Like and that's yeah. That's he fine. didn't choose to be in it. Nope. Mm. And I guess yeah, they've got his brother who wants to play by all the rules. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. No, he's not really needed, is he? At this, at this point. Um, but yeah, it's but, just going to cause more and more controversy. Um, mm. I don't. It's going to be I interesting. Really still, don't want to watch it. Um, Tuesday, yeah, I, Tuesday, Tuesday is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm a bit like that, Dan. I was kind of like <clears throat> when <clears throat> when I heard that they were doing it, and I've, like Rich said, it's been about ten days since I first heard it. It's I was a little bit like, ah, oh, really? Like, what's why? Why this? Why of all people, Oprah as well? Um, Harvey Weinstein's Bridget. Yeah, yeah. Um, it makes it just. Hey, you want to sound pagans, blood? It makes it it seem Richie, all... Richie, you have to call foul where you see foul. Like she will yeah. speak on rap, but she yeah. hasn't spoken on Harvey Weinstein yet. Who she was close to? I don't know mm-hmm. why. Yeah, it just seems all a bit soap opera ish for me. Um, like I'm like you. I don't want to watch it. I'll probably watch it in bits. Uh, on YouTube, long after it's been released mm-hmm. on a Monday, it's not some. It's definitely not something I'm running to because, at the end of the day, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I'm just a bit like, why? Like you wanted to get away from all of that, just keep it, just keep it going in a private mm. direction and handle your business that way. Because now people are just you can't though. This shit. is the thing. This is my. This is the whole thing for me. It's like everyone's like, oh, just fuck off and do your thing, basically, to them. But you can't. You actually you can. can't. You can. Everything you do, how? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You actually can't. Sitting down with Oprah is different. You choose to sit down with Oprah yeah. and chat shit. But prior to that, she but was this, in the news anyway. This might be their chance like, to. Yeah, yeah, let's hear what they have, you to, have say. to say. Your piece, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, you have to say your piece, man. Mm. They, they, yeah, they, they might say it as yeah. Let's do this interview. Say what we have got to say and call and it a done. day. Yeah. Or maybe this would That's change not gonna be the case. opinions. It's, on, not gonna, it's not going to be the case, though. It's not going to be the case. It's not going to be the case, yeah. And it's not going to change people's opinions of the royal family. They'll, they'll do some... They'll do some to. Yeah, they'll do some other big... I don't know who else is big yeah. out there now. There's um, some late show interview mm-hmm. and they'll yeah, be on yeah, there. Yeah, and... But if you're a celebrity... What, Vlad? So, yeah. So who do you think really killed your mother? <laughs> hey, let's let's make that happen, man. No, bro. <laughs> fuck, yes, lad, man. Hey, um, yeah, you lot saying that you're not going to be locked into it as well. You're you're lying. Liars, isn't it? Liars. Oh, 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 hundred percent. I'm not, not going to pull out the cu- the cost of cream, then. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, the, it's the fine event. china and the tea. Now, nah, I'm I'm hundred percent not hundred percent not watching it. Protein no. shake on deck, fam. What, two <laughs> hours of watching these got chats at home, bro? Cuz, yeah. no, I got, yeah, stu- I got stuff to do, fam. I'm not, mm, I'm not tuned into that. Over. What, like, what right. bombshells can there be, man? What they need Megan to be, she can't. But tune oh, yeah. in and see. Mm. But yeah, like I said, Tuesday is going to be... This is on Monday, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Bro, Mon- Monday, Monday evening. And it's then... going to be news Monday evening. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so What's... Tuesday is going to be... Where... Um, in the UK, Atlanta's where can be in the UK? Sorry, Mike, where can I, you watch? I think it? it's ITV. I think it's ITV. Still. Okay. Because they make. I was there yesterday. It's making that people are saying they're going to come in early and try and watch the cut before. I said, "Fuck off, you lot." Man. It's so funny how like <laughs> uh, people claim to be done with like so the the cult of celebrity and how much we hate it, but that's probably going to be the most viewed TV show like. This year. Mm, this year, this year, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. and like, yeah, it all kind of has come full circle. I guess this cult of celebrity film started with Diana. He's come back around through the Kardashians, the Osbournes. Mm. Snoop Dogg had his even his little show, mm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like now it's come back to her kids, and it's just like just mm. how mm. how yeah. stupid it all is. And don't they have a Netflix series or deal or something coming out? Soon. They got some deal, yeah. Like, I'd probably be more interested in seeing how they mm. maneuver or how she yeah. maneuvers. Oh, yeah, they've got that show where they just get followed about, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather watch that, to be honest. A media stunt. But yeah, the memes will probably be good. 
Yeah. Yeah. On Tuesday. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Twitter, Dave. Um, yeah. Monday's thing, I probably won't watch straight away. Um, what time is it? Champions League's on the night, you know. So it's a bit. No, Monday, Monday, <laughs> Monday, shaky, Monday, Monday, bro. Oh, it's Monday. Yeah, cool. Monday. Cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good then. Yeah, it'll be interesting, man. Mm. See, Arsenal's about to kick off. Funny, see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel Cole there and that. <laughs> Top guys. Uh, what else is on the agenda? Go on. What else we got? We had. Go on, Dan. Doctor Umar, a very controversial character. My guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. A king, a pan Africanist. <laughs> Mister Donations. Uh, Afrocentrist. Um, <laughs> a, a walking meme. Uh, me. He, he this week, yeah, kind of. He went off on Daniel Kaluuya, uh, and it was just one of the most misplaced rants I've ever seen. Mm. Um, have we all seen it? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm a man who <laughs> I actually agree with a lot of what Umar says. There's truth in what he says. Mm. But then every now and again, he just drops a clangor and I'm just like, oh, like, what is your real purpose? This is the right purpose. Like, it, does he, <laughs> him getting onto Kaluuya, uh, does that, uh, that kind of takes away from, I think, his his goal or what his goal appears to be, mm-hmm. uh, which is, I guess, black. African freedom, like him getting on. I don't think it's in a British tongue. Yeah, it's far as man. That's the e- that's ego. I think mm. it's it's very we, mm. uh, it's very similar to what we spoke about maybe like a month or two ago. What was it where they were saying about British actors? Um, was taking yeah. roles yeah, it was, with, uh, was it yeah, Stanfield? Yeah, 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 it was, yeah. It's literally yeah. about the, this film, and yeah, yeah, it's about it's literally about what we're talking. It's essentially the same story. Yeah, Umar is just just. Uh, stuck his oar in. Mm. Yeah, I agree with you, Dan. Like, I think man needs to... Qu- well, <laughs> we ask him what his purpose... I think he needs to question what his purpose is there. Because, I mean, he said some things that are like... Um, mm, divisive? Debatable, divisive mm. in the past. Uh, I don't think this is that, though. I think it's... Honestly, I just feel like it's stupid. Mm. I just feel like it's a bit stupid. He's saying that um, because of... <laughs> Daniel's accent, basically, mm. mm-hmm. that he might not be like pro-black, and he he should drop it out. Yeah, because of British of ancestry. It's like, yeah, it's fucking bollocks. It's, <laughs> it's just a bit messy, man. Like, and I'm starting to see this more often um, these days with like questioning what is kind of like pro-black and what is this pro-black movement because it seems to, I feel like now more than ever, it seems to be like a pro-black American movement. More like more specifically, mm. the, what do they the term they use? Ados or whatever. Um, yeah, what, what, what Africans or no, African American, descendants of slavery. African mm. descendants of slavery. Yeah, okay, to okay. to push out man from other places of the world that are have backed your struggle mm. Mm. and are, and experiencing not necessarily the same but a similar thing, mm. and it's just a bit ugly, man. It's like it's not this unity it appears to be. And mm, when you got like a, I guess it's a bit, dreaming of yeah, 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 it's a bit, it's a bit mad, man. I don't like to see it. Like, mm. Yeah, it's, it's actually something I don't want to see. But yeah, the man, irony of this is that he's speaking in, he's speaking in, oh, fam. speaking English. He's just speaking English. Yeah. <laughs> he's speaking, <laughs> he's speaking <laughs> good English. Man, man should learn Afrikaans. <laughs> yeah, <it's> something. <laughs> he, mm. He's he's got nothing. Um, but he again, the tongue I of think the it, it goes back to. It's, I don't know, I call it clubhouse chic, where it's probably more about like how you look and what things appear to be than mm. what you're really actually doing. Because, yeah, that there is just nonsense. Nonsense, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And takes away from some of the good things that he, he, he may say. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it's just, yeah, what we, what we come to know. Um, and, yeah, that's why I won't be joining clubhouse to, to go into any rooms. Because um, I think there's a lot of this... <laughs> People stand on stages. UK versus U- US. 
<laughs> mm. I think they were they were doing talent shows as well, and people were like, "No, you you can't do this. You can't see and that." Like, it's just we'll probably look Wait. back on this. Yeah, Man, I dancing on Clubhouse. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Clubhouse is yeah, killing my people. Right. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it just sounds like that, um, not conversation, but that topic or talking point of Americans wanting to monopolise um, black struggle. struggle. Mm-hmm. It's, bro, like, we, and it's always that, again, same thing, trying to make them understand that stuff like that happens over here as well. Um, we're, we've both, we've all experienced um, racial inequality. So it's not just because of speaking a British accent. Like, how stupid is that? Mm. Just because the way a man speaks, he's yeah, yeah, speaking yeah. French or speaking whatever, He's he, his experience isn't the same as yours. It's just, mm-hmm. come on, what are you... What, and I think with Dr. Umar Johnson, I think he's a, he's a little bit <clears throat> too, not too ingrained, but the social media side of it is getting him twisted. Very aware of it. He, yeah, he needs. I think to, it sounds a bit clickbait <laughs> to me, man. Yeah, oh, massively. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Because if you don't know him, you're going to listen to that and then want to check out his other videos. It's, it's everyone. Knows, videos, everyone knows the science and the maths behind it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just it's a bit silly. <laughs> why is social doing, media game is fucked. Yeah, why is he always doing videos yeah. in a car as well? <laughs> he's, he's en route to important places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah big meetings <laughs> in a dashiki. Um, he's, really push it home. Yeah, he's a yeah. he's a funny guy. Um, didn't Daniel Kaluuya uh, win an award this week? He did. Golden he Globe. Did, he did. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 Best, he got best of black king. Yeah. In, um, mm-hmm. in a, mm-hmm. what's it called? Judas and the Black Messiah. And he, yeah. He bigged up uh, Seabiz in his. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Swear yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I like, I said, yeah. Um, the game is mine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Trying to show us he ain't, he ain't crossed over yet, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love. And I, yeah, I, like I, lo- I love seeing like him. Um, uh, Samson Idris. Samson Idris. Samson. Um, like seeing, Samson. seeing them, Samson. man. Uh, John Boyega as well. Mm. Like, whenever I see them, man, in the mix. It's, and it's cold, isn't it? The thing that cold, the thing, the thing that I like to see is one, they keep it, man, them. It's, mm-hmm. it's, the, it's the chat as well. The chat hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. So even when they're doing these interviews to these big sort of productions or whatever on these mm-hmm. big stages, <clears throat> the conversation, the, the talk hasn't changed. The language they use like, hasn't changed. It stays the like same. Like Londoners. I love it. I love I love to see Keeping it, man. It love to see it. Love to hear it. <laughs> so cold. Yeah, shout them man out, man. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing their thing, man. When's Snowfall come, um, season four coming, coming out? Out, fam. It's out already. It's out. But I mean, I mean here, though. Is it out oh. here? Oh. Um, no, 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 I've been getting it in um, elsewhere. But um, yeah. VPNs. I need to hit you up about that, actually, Ted. Because yeah, talk yeah, about cause... that episode there. Yeah, that last one. Because I've just started watching it as well, and I was confused, man. That last mm-hmm. episode. But yeah, no, no spoilers, no spoilers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what else was there on the on the agenda? Um, I see Jay Z. Um. Doing big, big things. Doing Crazy. again well, an, another, yeah, another week of Jay Z doing big things. Um, he sold half, a portion of Tidal, half or majority stake or something like that. Yeah. Um. To I can't remember who it was. To the owner of Stake uh, Square, sorry. Uh, Square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hundred and ninety-seven million. Mm-hmm. They said he made something like what six hundred million already in twenty twenty-one. Ridiculous. Mad. Ridiculous. Mad. Have you not clocked that he is now um he's trying to emulate or look like uh Michelle Bastia? Yes, I've been thinking that Dan. His hair is wild, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wild. He's it's the unapologetic embracing of yeah, his his, <laughs> his roots. But he's definitely stylized himself oh, yeah, on yeah. Basquiat. Uh, which is cool to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought, to be fair, we'd seen the best of Jay Z and his best years were behind him. But mm. I think this this goes to show that he's still got some some. There's still laughing on dog yet, man. Listen, yeah, he yeah. He, he literally is the blueprint, man. Honestly. So he bu- <laughs> yeah, yeah. He bought it for fifty six million. And he, yes. and he sold it for how much? Two hundred. Two hundred and ninety seven. 
in like, just a few six. years. About four or five years? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah mad. Six years. Uh, six years, yeah. Six years. Um, um, but he retains uh, a stake in it. Minority well. stake. Yeah. Yeah. And then now he's on the board of Square, I believe, as well, which is yeah. cold, man. Getting into like fintech. Yeah. He's called. Just, yeah, as Ted said, he is yeah the, the, the blueprint. blueprint. Mm. And I never thought we'd see like rap. And this, these are like the first rap elder statesmen, in it. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we never, yeah, we never got they're to see still, them. They're, they're still really. leading the path in it and showing like how things are done before they fully uh, hang their boots up. Him, mm. yeah, Nas, Dr. Dre, it's mm-hmm. mad. Listen, the Jay Z doc here yeah, or, or film or whatever is going to be. <laughs> Listen, incredible, yeah, like yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Like his story is just. Oh, yeah, like, the story. The story is cold. It's, it's fake. Cold. Like it's actually fake. Mm-hmm. Like you, you wouldn't believe it. Like if anyone who, doesn't know, like, who would play him? Uh, English. You. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they would go Why? fucking don't mad. Don't, don't, don't let Doctor. <laughs> they me, will go don't, mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to think who could play Hove. Who could play? He's got. He's like. You'd have different really hosts. So you'd have. Man look like yeah, you'd have. You'd have a different host. Yeah, yeah, you'd have. Yeah. You'd have. You'd have a young one. Um, <laughs> that would you say? I should do. I should do. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just give it to a UK man. So yeah, that will cause a little. Yeah, they'll be. They'll be. Yeah, maybe three. What's the issue them, anyway, man, with that? Because like in coming to America too, for example, like I'm hearing all with Ross with an African accent in that. Like it's. <laughs> Mm. That's that like they, that, that's all mine to me, like they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, they're gonna have, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, gonna have an, issue. an African man as well. Like there's, mm. it's, there's, yeah. it happens all the time. It's just best. It yeah, it it's happens. silly, it's silly, it's silly. Um, we got Jay Z still, man. Yeah, um, man. That's a that's a mad mad move. Yeah, very cool. God, I really don't yeah, know who imagine. plays Jay Z. You know, I don't know. It'll be someone that we don't know. Yeah, it'll be someone that we don't know and just that looks like him when he was. If not, we'll just get Will Smith in it. Oh, God. It's like that Tupac actor as well. Biggie. Yeah. They just get man that resemble them, innit? Wait, hold on, man. I think the big one raps, you know. I think he raps. Yeah, what's his name? Um... Not gravy. What's it? Yeah, no, right. no, Gorilla Black. No, oh, not Black. Gorilla Black. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's the other guy. Yes, no, you're talking about. What yeah, I'm but it's, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not a like name. a big actor. Yeah, no, no, no. Actor, it's yeah. not a name, isn't it? Mm. I'm, same, I'm same with the uh, same with the two pack one. Yeah, Ice Cube was the only one in it. His son played him, but again, that's he's he's not a big name. Yeah, Jay Z could get his son to play as well. A son that he doesn't doesn't talk about. Mm. If that's still in, yeah. <laughs> if he's in his good books, yeah, yeah they, pictures floating about. They got, they got, <laughs> they, got patch, they got patch things up first. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I wonder who would play. I wonder who play exhibit you though. <laughs> wow! Hey, 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 uh, I, think, I know a guy. I, uh, <laughs> I tell you, as soon as there's a casting call for X that, we've got to get you one. We've got to get you one. Straight out to LA. That is too funny. To that is have you have you not seen a new uh, Biggie documentary? Yeah, I yeah, haven't. Yeah, no, I, I haven't seen, seen, it, seen it myself. I've seen it. I haven't started. Been meaning to start it. I haven't watched it yet. I'm hearing it's good, you know. Yeah, it's I'm crazy. hearing it's, it's not your typical like two pack and biggie sort of documentary. No, 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 really not at all. Thing. Not they, they kind of just they, focus they, on biggie. They skim over uh mm. the two pack thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's more about like when he was a kid. Yeah. Mm. Coming up and, and all of that. I've it's heard that, I've heard like there's that. no there's sorry man, I heard there's no mention of or no real mention of Lil Kim in it. No. No. Uh, I don't think I don't think there is a mention of Lil Kim. I think there's a picture when they shoot like throw pack pictures. I think yeah, she's in a few yeah, of those, but yeah. I don't think they mention her. Mm. That's all. But it's it's not it's not now because it's not about the Biggie that made it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's pretty Biggie. It's about Christopher Wallace, fam. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. Raised by the letter, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's it. Uh, she kills me in it still. Yeah, I see her. She's on bare the funny. She she's like, yeah. I never knew you could be mad at, at a dead person. Mm. Like, it was like, yeah, like when he bought drugs in the house and that. She's like, yeah, I'm still mad at him. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's good. Might, it's good still. This weekend. It was going to be my bringing. But I've got a next one. To the bringing, man. Next one. Um, yeah, let's get to it. 
Um, yeah, my bring in, I mentioned it in the Mandan group actually. Um, <clears throat> a show called Hip Hop Uncovered. Okay. Okay. Very, very, very cold. It's a six part docuseries. Um, and it's about like the people behind the rappers in it. Okay. So it could be like, what do you want to call them? Street people. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, so it's with Deb and me, Flacker's mum, or oh, Wacker's mum, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, Bimmy, who was Supreme Team, which is actually he, her little brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Big U, um, Haitian Jack, mm. which, is, which is a bit mad. And I think, and Trick Trick, who's some guy from like Detroit. Detroit, he's like, a serious, yeah, serious yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a serious guy in yeah. Detroit. So it links like kind of how the road is mm. sort of mixed uh-huh. up in, in hip hop and that is it's cold still. What's was it on? Yeah, again. Uh, I'll tell you that after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But, but there's ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark the pirate, you know. Say again. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh yeah, this week, yeah. Um, I put on one of those Apple playlists and there's a lot of two on them, but this stood out to me. It's a French artist called Hamza, um, who I listen to a fair bit of his piece, but he's got a tune with Heady One and the tune's called Don't Tell. Nice. That just dropped? Uh, it's a new track, yeah. Cold. Cold. Um, I didn't think I had to bring in, but there were, I do. It was a track I span, oof, I don't know how many times yesterday uh, morning really you probably know the track already um it is the new drake and rick ross lemon yeah, pepper freestyle yeah 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 love mm. to hear this i love to hear she's done man drake in mm-hmm. his bag ross in his bag um i think we put it up on insta and twitter yesterday actually to mm-hmm. um yeah. name a better i'll say a rap tag team as opposed mm. to like a duo i'm not talking about mm-hmm. No, this is what I put. Noriega or this, yeah, yeah, Preston yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. some people two got back to me, and I was rappers. like, "Does that really count?" It shouldn't really count. I'm talking two independent. Yeah. Ra- I do independent have, I do have someone, but we'll mention that on another episode. Um, yeah, we'll get this in. Might take the title, but um, these two, I just love their chemistry. It's the best. Uh, so yeah, this is my bringing. Okay. Cold. Cold. Ted, yes. got anything for us? Um. Well, what's the section where you kind of just bring anything? anything. You kind of gave us the um, the thing show earlier, innit? The, the, the documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, don't, don't force it if you ain't got nothing. Well, it can be anything, like it can be anything. Anything, anything you've seen, read, watched, heard, heard. whatever. Any tips, um, anything. Wise well, words, life anything. lessons. Um, nah, um, actually, Rads has a new um, um, thingy. He has a new little uh, EP. Wall. Project, yeah, 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 EP yeah, called Wall. So Rads original. My guy, man. I like his yeah. music, man. So, Very yeah, cool. Rags, which you know, if you like, want to check him out, he's got a new project called Wall. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend that. That's my book. Yeah, the cold. That's called cool. Them. Yes. The production on, I think the track is Mirrors, is hey. mad. The production is mad. The production is mad. The production is mad. I've said it for time. Rags needs to like shoot a movie or something, do a soundtrack to a movie. Mm. It'll be gone. Yeah. Do a clean score, innit? Yeah, yeah. The music yeah, yeah. so visual, it's, it's mad. It's mad. It's mad. Like, cinematic thing. So mm-hmm. cinematic. So cinematic. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah, he's, he's talented, man. Really talented. So definitely. Very talented. Cold. Um, Ted, do you want to drop your, I don't know, socials or anything? Um, Insta uh, at Ted Shred Fitness. Ted Shred fitness um and yeah that's it really i mean i'm on twitter here and there but don't really use it that much um so yeah instagram ted Tread fitness that's where you can find me oh sweet ted is doing up super humble today he's a top trainer mm-hmm. lad don't like yeah. he's been very calm yeah. Yeah. don't don't be fooled like yeah. proper stuff man go go check it out Mm-hmm. Appreciate, appreciate that. Thank you for coming on, Teddy. Um, love Ted. Yeah, much appreciate. Yeah, love for having me, man. I'll be back. Listen, I'll be back soon, man. Come, Come on, yeah, anytime. Let's go. Soon. And then I can let you know how my chest, my chest is. is yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Update us on the chest, then. I'm not holding out <laughs> much hope, man. <laughs> yeah, I might need to hit you up actually, Ted Car. Yeah. The doors are opening soon, isn't it? So, yeah, you know, trust me. Trust me. Doors are open. Tops off. All of that. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, that was uh, episode 197. We're fast approaching 200 episodes, which is mad. Um, crazy. Crazy. Thanks for everyone who's who's been on this journey, who's new also. Yeah. Um, don't forget, there is the Manscaped code. Last week to use it, so... Yeah. Mm. I mean, if you don't get it now, you might not get it. Uh, the code is MANDEM20. Use it on their website. It's yeah. the MANDEM podcast. Keep it locked.